Uh, warning tonight, high waters on Smithville Lake may pose an unseen danger for boaters. As 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield shows us, the rising lake causing those dangers could be preventing even more flooding. From his boat. The water is normally at 38 foot. Corporal Kyle Rashi sees it all. Normally the water is below the bending point right there, so that way patrons can get on the ramp. The lake rising up below bridges. Some parking lots and walking trails now underwater. It was about 2015 when it was up this high, the last I can remember. Dakota Stone. All these bushes are, are usually not, not touched at all. Has also noticed the water rise at all of his favorite fishing spots. You can fish all on that rock and now it's it's completely gone right now. Smithville Lake is flood controlled, meaning it's designed to catch all of the water so the area around here doesn't flood. But right now the Army Corps of Engineer is releasing only a little bit of water. What comes out of here eventually ends up in the Platte and Missouri rivers, both of which are already saturated and have caused massive flooding. If those uh, rivers were at their normal level, we could release water, but we just can't with the levels that they're at right now and the water that's still coming in. It's a complex system, the Corps says, has been complicated even more by the constant rain. Well, there's nothing that we, we, the Corps could have done. I mean, the, it's, you know, Mother Nature, the rain comes a, as it comes, and sometimes it comes pretty quickly. And um, if it's within our watershed, uh, we're going to get the water in the lake. A lake that still has room to spare before it releases its water too. We've got quite a few feet to go before we get to that point. Reporting in Smithville, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. The Missouri River will remain high because of water from dams and flooding could get worse. The Corps of Engineers says the amount of water being released from Gavin's Point Dam will remain at 75,000 cubic feet per second. The dam is on the Nebraska South Dakota border. A spokesperson says the amount of water being released into the river is more than twice the average. Flooding downstream could worsen because many levees are already damaged.